good evening on this lovely spring evening. I'm very late today because being a mum, teacher, car owner, dog owner, just sometimes I have not enough hours in the day. But anyway, I'm going to speak to you today about spring, this lovely season, the one that comes between winter and summer and you know, just in time because we're all a bit depressed after all that rain and grey skies and cold weather. So. It's a season, but it is also a verb, an irregular verb, to spring. To spring means to jump forward and upward, okay? So it's spring, sprang, sprung, for those of you who like to get irregular verbs correct. So I'm going to speak to you about some idioms using spring. So the first one is no spring chicken. So if somebody's a spring chicken, that means they're young. So if I say, hmm, he's no spring chicken, that means that he's a little bit grey and a little bit old. Of course, no one has ever used this expression to talk about me, and they never will, because I am staying in the spring of my life. Okay, another one. If somebody springs back from something, so to spring back from something means to get back on your feet after a bit of an upset and quickly, all right? So maybe you've had some bad news or, you know, on back or soup, I don't know, but you know, you're going to spring back because you know things are going to get better. You know, you're going to get a good offer tonight or tomorrow morning. So don't worry about it. We also say to have a spring in one step. If you have a spring in one step, that means you are cheerful, happy, enthusiastic, in a great mood. So when I eventually get to come back to Coupran, I am going to have a spring in my step. Right, if you spring into action, or you spring into life, that means you do something very quickly, very energetically, you're motivated for a project, right? You act quickly and with a lot of enthusiasm. You can see why I like the word spring. Okay, if something springs to mind, that means that it comes to your mind easily. It's not difficult to think of something. So when people ask me, what do you like about online teaching? Nothing springs to mind. Nothing. So that means that, you know, nothing comes instantly to my mind when they ask me that question. And even after a few long minutes, nothing, nothing springs to mind. Okay. If you spring to someone's defense, that means that you instantly defend them, right? You vehemently defend them. You believe in that cause and you do it energetically and straight away. If you spring to your feet, that means you stand up really quickly. You know, so I could be sitting on my couch. One day I'm going to be sitting on my couch and I'm going to hear those magic words, <gasps> schools open, and I'm going to spring to my feet because I'm going to be so happy to be going back to school. So that's about it. Those are some expressions with spring. But I have forgotten the most important, well, I haven't forgotten it, I've just saved it for the end. The most important word in the English language with spring in it is springbok. Springbok. So a springbok, or springbok, is, of course, the symbol of South African rugby. It's a beautiful antelope that springs upwards and forwards. That's why it's called a springbok, because a buck is like an antelope. So it's a buck that jumps upwards and forwards. And, you know, I am quite attached to my little spring bucks. Greatest rugby team in the world, Qua. Anyway, after that little note from Heather, the rugby fan, uh, I hope you all have a lovely evening and that you're all, you know, got a spring in your step. And uh, well, I wonder what I'll spring on you tomorrow. <laughs>